friends, it's Nancy, and it's Tuesday. We're gonna take out some trash. So I have some postcards here. Um, the backs are cool, but the fronts are not cool. I shouldn't say they're not cool, they're just not something I would put in a junk journal. So I have some, like, um, like end pages from some older pulpy books so that we have kind of this aged fox to look is what I'm going for. So first thing I'm going to do, eh, eh, see, I wouldn't put that in a journal necessarily. This is from 1927. I'm just going to glue the picture part to the paper. I'll just flip that over. These three don't have, um, they don't have, the stamps have been taken off. Nineteen oh nine. So I'm going to replace the stamp. It won't be something from 1909 probably, but this is a series of three from the Ten Commandments. This one's Thou Shalt Not Kill. So it's got, you know, somebody who's killed somebody. <laughs> I just didn't think that was going to be great for a junk journal of mine. This one's some of this stuff out of my way. Okay, so, so I want something in sort of the brown family. So it's pretty. It's from France.
get a King George there. Was with that tiger on it from Malaysia. Everybody has a stamp now. And I want to tear off the extra paper. isn't too tough a job. It's pretty brittle. But I'd rather tear it than cut it because um, I just kind of like the finish of a a little bit faster. going all over my floor. I'll have to bend over. So, I had, uh, Got the the Paula Dean recipe to make banana pudding. It was I bought it was printed on a tea towel. So Jordan and his lady friend are coming over for dinner, and I went to three grocery stores looking for vanilla wafers. You know the little round vanilla cook. Vanilla cook well they're called Nilla wafers, aren't they? Ones we used to get anyway. Nobody has them. It's another thing that's just gone. <laughs> so I ended up getting mini lady fingers. They've got a bit of a lemon flavor to them, but I think it'll I think it'll be okay. Okay. Next up. going the same way. Um, you know, ink first, ask questions later. So we'll see how it goes.
Just thinking about whether I'll sell or not. Probably will. You know how much I love it. So this is... Um, these are going to be journal cards inspired by... Somebody I saw on Instagram Sunday morning. Something, something inspiration actually, <laughs> I think. I'll have to look. I'll put it in the, uh, in the uh, description box. Okay. I've got some cheesecloth here. Okay, it's not bad. Let's cut a straight line. Let's find a ruler to do straight lines. Hmm. That's so much stuff piled everywhere. So I need to cut some more that are three and a half by five and a half. Well, let's call it, let's call it three and a quarter by five and a quarter. How's that? moving but that's okay okay so that's about three and a quarter there lightly glue this up I'll layer some on one two three and a quarter Again, I'm not putting a thick layer of glue on, just just a lick. Not thick, just a lick. 
That's our motto for today. After I get this video done, I'm going to go up and try to make banana pudding out of lady fingers. <laughs> so it's going to be an Italian banana pudding instead of southern. One, two, three, four, five and a quarter. Oh, you little monkey. Hmm. It's fiddly. Okay. One more. Now I need some pictures of some lovely ladies, so let me get out my, take out the trash box. More of a take out the trash bag, and I take out the trash box, and I take out the trash bin. This is the one that has the pictures in it.
Ooh, a nice, nice picture. That's actually a photo. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Some of these are big. I like all of them. So I'll use that one plus these four. So I have a box of photos right behind me. Maybe. That's Niagara Falls. I'm told by the fence. A cute little miss. Oh, the bride and groom. I like that one.
There's some other ones in here, but they're... They're on the small side. Or I mean on the large side. You know what, these are all too big. I mean, I could cut them down. Let me fussy cut these other ones. Okay, I've zoomed in a bit so you can see what I'm about to do. I've got some antique linen distress ink and I'm just gonna go with my finger over any light spots because those really show as uh, as gray so I'm talking her face her white blouse okay then I have brush corduroy that one I'm going to use a brush Just kind of give the picture a glow. Do you see what I mean by glow here? Okay. Now. I've got a little bit of pink this might be too pink. Let me see. No. There, I gave her some hint of pink on her cheeks and lips. done this before with um, a q-tip but I don't happen to have a q-tip right handy Her ear a little. A little bust work there. Be a little boob job. needed a little more color because her picture's seriously dark. Okay. I'm going to use um, 
Fabri Tac. I need to refill my Sugar Bell bottle here. So this is sort of like a mass make, isn't it? thought briefly about putting some torn paper or something underneath the photos, but they're not done yet. A little gloop of glue there, but I was able to get it off. A little gloop of glue. All right. Um, believe I'm gonna do, believe I'm gonna sew these, but I will be adding like a piece of lace to these. So this is an old collar. Not sure if that's gonna work for me or not. I also got this collar. This one, I'm not sure how old it is. That might be perfect, actually. show you what my plan is here. So I'm just kind of fussy cutting around this uh, embroidered bit.
hearing weird noises outside. It sounds like Doug's on his motorcycle. But that can't be it. <laughs> There's no motorcycling happening. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're a pretty thing, aren't you? I'll move you. gonna trim one of these and see if that adds anything. If it does, maybe I'll do more, and if it doesn't, eh, I can forget all about it. Kind of fiddly, isn't it? That does nothing for me. All right. Um, I'm going to glue this down. putting a little bit of glue on where the embroidered areas are so that the glue doesn't show through ish I mean possibility is always there isn't it Okay, uh, so I'm going to fussy cut these pieces of lace. I'm going to stitch around, um, and then we'll come back and take a look at what we've got here. And here they all are. So um, I did stitch around each of the cards, and I added a little 3 16th inch um, old brass eyelet and some vintage lace that I have coffee dyed to this the the ones with the oval pictures this one <clears throat> I added some extra lace to and this one I added gold sari so uh, yeah so that's what we did today um, hope you thought this was interesting I love being able to use things up that I think that I'm you know might not be able to use and uh, maybe one or two of these will go into my um, this one 
this journal that I'm working on. Alrighty, well, take care everybody. We will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.